Hello, good morning, and welcome to another episode of White Details. A slight shock for me today, uh, Ford Ranger Wild Track turned up this morning. It's here for the full week. It's a, an existing Bentley customer's daily driven vehicle. And all I knew was the vehicle was a Ford Ranger pickup truck. As you can see, there's a bit more to it. It has lots of body kit, it has lots of accessory items. It's highly modified, highly modified. Uh, and it's gonna take some work. Not only that, the vehicle is flat black, and if you've been here before, you may know the difficulties associated with solid black, flat black paintwork. Sorry, overexposed. But it's a do what you can kind of booking in the time available. I would imagine this week there will be lots of swearing. There may be a few tears, uh, but there's plenty to look forward to with the after footage, I'm sure. Massive turnaround on this car available. So that and lots more coming up on this episode of White Details. Alright guys, so welcome back to the channel. If you've been here before, you may know that the White Detail vlogs typically 35 minutes, 40, 45 minutes, 50 minute episodes, very detailed, very precise, uh, instructional, there's lots of information. This, however, it's not the case. What with the scale of the job ahead and the time scales and limiting factors out of hours with commitments outside of work this week, as much as I wanted to document sort of a full episode, a full case study to show everything, really have had to condense it down to snippets and highlights as you can see the truck is a bit of a beast and also there's not many miles on the clock it's relatively new with that said however you can see the condition of the paint this is because it's been to the body shop lots of the accessory bolt-on sections and body kit panels they've been to the spray shop and as a result the soft paintwork has been inflicted with defects abrasions sander marks left behind buffer trails and galore For me, it's not so much the scale of the job that I've got to uh, sort of look forward to. It's the complications of the intricacies, the tight sections, the body kit, the really acute angles, and not to mention, of course, the flat black paintwork. But taking my time using a combination of five inch, three inch, one inch, and of course, some hand polishing techniques. As you can see from a small section of after footage from the end of the job, the results certainly are much improved. Perhaps my usual combination of Lake Country microfiber cutting pads, in this instance, they're actually far too much overkill. The use of microfiber cutting pads would really churn up the paint. It's soft, the defects are relatively light. So actually a three inch yellow polishing pad and the five inch orange Lake Country polishing pad. Alongside Koshkemi uh, Fine Cut, the yellow, I believe it's F6. I was able to obtain the results uh, I was after with one polishing set to then go on later to do a very much important refining set.
obviously again at this point I hope you would understand that there, there's a lot of work going on behind the scenes and the camera came out very little to be honest it's very much snippets and highlights as I said earlier but up onto the bonnet now um, the grill particularly intricate but the bottom corners of each vent was very heavy with defects and just generally quite grubby down there it's apparent that no one's polished that previously and of course the three inch polisher or the one inch polisher in fact wouldn't even reach these areas so of course these areas are tackled by hand a cut down section of microfiber and a wooden skewer enabling me to get deep tight down into the bottom corners before then we go across the surrounding area carefully very carefully with the three inch and then the one inch Nearing the end of the week on the truck, and uh, it's the polishing complete. So, make the start to the interior. Let's give you a bit of an insight into what the interior has uh, had a lot of work done, also. So, obviously, the custom, custom buckets, the seats, the colouring, the embroidery. This is part of the Berserker branding. Berserker. There's quite a few emblems to go on the bodywork as well. There's a badge here. There's a logo here, two on the back, there's a grill on the front. All of this in the door shuts is existing polished splatter that's pretty stubborn. It was on the paintwork. All the door shuts need feckling and sorting. But yeah, interior wise, everything. Um, the center console has been re leathered and re stitched. Even the gear gator re leathered and orange stitching. Orange stitching of the dash, leathered up. Seat base is a nice Alcantara. The airbag, I believe, is a way of having the embroidery done for this little cute guy. Nice little touch on the handle there, Alcantara grab. All bespoke and redone. Even the bottom bit down here, that's uh, Alcantara material. Pull the seats forward. There is a, a strip here, I'm guessing that's an LED illumination glow. So anyway, other than uh, a wipe over, everything's a bit dusty, it's come from the trimmers, come from the body shop, a very basic clean. The leather on the driver's bolster here, it's showing signs of dirt already, so all the seats will have. Uh, a quick going over before we go with Modesta LPS, that leather protection system. This console, I'm guessing that's for a tablet display to, yes. The backs of the seats are just dusty again, needing a, a wipe over. Otherwise, that's the paint looking pretty sharp. There is a big concern now of making sure we can get rid of the lint and the dust um, before we go down with the coatings. And then let's coat the wheels, finish the interior, get the coatings, the glass, the exhaust, the final tooth pickery, final details, and dressings. And it should be quite spectacular when it's finished. Easily the largest car I've had here. No why details. Rinse water from pretty much all the surfaces, headlining seats. Alexa, pause. <laughs> 
So it's all looking a bit fresh now, all the surfaces, the backs of the seats, the side panelling, it's all clean and fresh. Leather ready for protection. Um, check this out, near side rear door. If you follow my details on Instagram, you may have seen this because I put this on my story posts, 24 hour posts that disappear on Instagram. Near side rear door, window switch, good. Near side front door, window switch, yeah. What? Just starting with the glass, drop of the window to gain that top inch access there. Uh, here, here, patches of overspray, and then here as well. Not good. Thin is required to get this off. And same old story down the near side. Cluster there, fingerprints, smudges. Uh, smothering here. Good. Nearly there.
Saturday, 10 to 4 in the afternoons, uh, whilst the last of the infrared curing process takes place. Um, I'm signing out. I'm off. I'm finished. I'm done. The truck looks impeccable. Pretty insane, to be honest. Glad I don't do these every week. I know in the States, you guys out there who are detailers, this is the sort of bread and butter. There's lots and lots and lots of trucks across the pond. But as a one man bands and flat black and the scale and the intricacies and the complexity, we got there in the end. Is it perfect? Nope. Is it enough? Hopefully. Um, I certainly am pleased. So yeah, it's been an interesting one. Uh, the polishing was done with a yellow or orange Lake Country polishing pad. No microfiber was used in the making of this truck. Normally I'd reach for Lake Country microfiber, but this on that would really do some damage because it's so soft. So polishing pads, finishing pads, two-step polish, polish refine coatings, polish refine primer coatings, and the end result. Quite the contrast from NetSuite, there is a mini JCW 71 plate, which is brand new here for new car prep. So little and large. And apologies once again that this episode was slightly sort of different and lazy in the respect of picking the camera up. My main concern, of course, is always the car or the truck and getting the job right. And if I can pick up the camera, then I will. Be sure to follow my details over on Instagram for behind the scenes and updates. Subscribe to the channel. If you're not already, there's various links in the description down below where you can contribute to the channel if you so wish. Uh, give it a like if you've enjoyed. Take care, stay safe. Bye for now.